morning, everybody. It's just me right now. Peter's at work. I drove him to work because I went to the DMV to get my new license today, um, but I actually need my marriage license as well, so I didn't get to get that done. I got denied parking at the Poly because they're only allowing resort guests to stay there, or to park there. Um, and I was like, you know what? Two strikes. You know, I'm going to the Wilderness Lodge. I'll park there, grab a little something to eat, and then take the boat to Magic Kingdom. I have a few errands that I'm going to run today. Um, and I'll take you along with me. Anastasia and Drizella used to be in the 3 o'clock parade. They were my favorite. And for a long time, whenever we would see them, I'd get so excited. They were my favorite in the parade. They'd always interact with me because I worked on the parade route. And I just miss like expressing my love for them because I still love them. It's just I don't see them every day like I used to. Yes. But I just got so happy to see them in those cool Christmas ball gowns. Okay, so the reason why I'm here today is really just to meet Gaston. And it's not for me, it's for my very dear friend, Jazzy, who um, I'm getting a little bit of something signed for her. So Jazzy, I hope you enjoy it. Jazzy, heard you love me. I don't blame you, I love me myself. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of hard not to love everything about me. Jawline, hair, perfect biceps. It's all right, maybe next time you can come see me in person. So anyway, see you soon, maybe. <laughs> A couple of setbacks um, today is gonna stop me from going to Epcot. I had one other thing that I wanted to get done, but I just don't, I don't have time to do it before the party. Alrighty, so I've had a costume change, obviously. Today was probably one of the most chaotic days since we moved here. The vlog is not up yet, it's gonna be up late. Um, I don't know, it was just a lot to do to get ready and everything. So, we aren't going to a park, like I said. Um, but I did tweet for people to ask us some questions, so maybe we'll film a QA on the car right there. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> and why do I say good morning? Because it is 1.25 in the morning. And we got two and a half hours of sleep. We got two and a half hours of sleep last night. But look at this sweatshirt. That's Walt incredible. Disney World opening cast and crew. Disney's Main Street, a lot of cool parade. Through undisclosed sources. We got ourselves this little beauty. It's like a beautiful, warm, cozy um, pullover sweater with pockets and a, and a zippy front. But. Today, we had like a little holiday dinner evening with colleagues of mine from work, our little team, so that's why we had a crazy different day and we didn't get to vlog too much because we were kind of like with the work office people, not really the best setting to vlog. So we're going to do a few questions that a, f a few of you sent in. There was a lot of great questions sent in, so thank you so much. We're going to keep them for future question and answers, but we're only going to do a few right now because yeah. it's late. The car, we thought we were going to do it in the car, but it was just so traffic -y. And you know, lighting and cars, you know, at nighttime aren't so great. So we're like, we're just gonna do a couple now because we're tired, and we'll do some more later. So here's a nice, easy one to start us off with. How old was Eve when you got her? She was what, three and a half? Nine years, months. Months. Um, mm -hmm. she was born January 29th. We got her May 8th, I want to say. So. 
three and a half months old. Three and a half months old. Yeah. So she's a little tiny baby puppy. Yes. I'll link the video of like meet our new puppy Eve that we posted. All right. This next one is what is your favorite hot beverage at Disney? Which is interesting. Mine is Dropper's coffee. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, what's mine? Hot. Mm -hmm. I would say. The Giardelli hot chocolate. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah. This is a good one. This is the question is if you could live anywhere other than Florida or Chicago, where would it be and why? And I'm gonna give the answer because we haven't really talked too much about this, but I think this was if it's not the choice, probably be in the top three for both of us. Not to sit here and ramble about it all night, but it would be probably anywhere in New England, like the upper the upper northeast part of the country. Mm -hmm. It's got yeah. beautiful seasons, just history. the history. That being said, like, again, we're not going to make this super long, but um, we've never been there, so we don't really know. We just think that we would really like it there. I mean, you guys see our de decorations. I think we love the American history. However, when I saw this, this is what I thought of. The one place that stands out in my mind when we drove Route 66 was New Mexico. I've never even thought of living there before, but that just stands out as a place I thought was really unique. And that I really liked everything that was in there. Very unique over there. <laughs> that could be a cool place to live. This is a nice one. If you were to work at Walt Disney World, what would your dream job be in Walt Disney World? I think during our job search here, I found it. And it would be handling originals and preparing. Um, like The job's called Artist Preparator. Yeah, like getting ready exhibits for people to come and see and making it look nice. And I'd either be a greeter at a resort or like a boat driver mm -hmm. captain. <laughs> Let's see, I like this one. Besides Fantasmic, what is your favorite show on property? Any show. Anything like my time is about taken. Um, let's do any show. You go first. Wishes. It's not on property anymore. Well, it's still my favorite. And I would say Festival of the Lion King. Ooh, that's a good one. This is a good one and it might take a little bit. We're gonna do, question is, I know you all went to school together, but how did you first meet and when did you both know that you were to be together? Okay. So we first met in seventh grade in our English class and we had a lot of classes together and actually like, our Peter's older brother, my older sister are friends, and we had like a lot of different things that kind of like just wove each other into each other's lives from a young age. Mm -hmm. um, but what really started us to be, you know that we were like going to end up together was our sophomore year of high school. Um, our chemistry teacher asked our classroom, um, who in this classroom knows what's going on? And like, who understands the content? And Peter and I were the only people to raise our hands. And she said, okay, you two go to the back and you work on this on your own and I'll go through it again. And she kind of let me and Peter like get ahead and just do yeah, it at our own start pace. working at the next section. Yeah, so that we weren't being, It's kind. Of, it sounds weird, but like to not be held back by that. So we spent a lot of time. That We just like, stayed back class. there. Like she never really called us back. Like yeah. we ended up like teaching ourselves pretty much the rest yeah, we of. We took the test the same and um, but we were at that point. We were also like in the kind of the same group of friends, and we were from a small town. But um, that was when we really like got to actually know each other, and we declared ourselves best friends on May thirteenth, as Peter wrote it on my pencil case. Mm -hmm. And we've been best friends ever since. Mm -hmm. I think that'll do it tonight for the yeah. questions and answers. We have Those plenty are more. Great so thank you for all the questions. And if you have any more, leave them down in the comments down below. We could always use a good bank of questions. Yeah. To kind of redo these or do updates or... Or maybe even just do it as part another of... Another one, yeah. Like, once a week, we kind of just like throw that stuff out there. Mm -hmm. So thank you for the questions, and we will get to any questions that were sent to us that we didn't do tonight. But it is so late. And, and we got so tired. And so <laughs> no sleep. And it's just good to be home. It's good to be the weekend. We have a fun day tomorrow. Just wait and see. Yes, good to be home. Good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, 
it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at walt disney productions.